Hello Collectors, it is time for Redemption. Hopefully we have a PSA reveal round two. So we're going to open this up. This is of my Han Solo and Keyraw dual autograph, one of one, masterwork card. Now our last reveal was not that great. That's why I said we're looking for redemption here. We're looking uh, to get a little bit of an upturn in events because we got a near mint seven from our Podme one of one. This is a, a still a great card. And the thing about this one is it just presents so beautifully despite the grade, and I may try to crack this open at some point and clean up the card a little bit as much as I can. We identified some issues on the card, but they were really kind of minor in my opinion. So maybe we'll do a video where I crack it open, try to you know do some canned air on it and uh, wipe it with microfiber dust and see if we can improve the card and, and get a different grade. I think that would be kind of interesting reveal and see if we can actually do that, bring it up to an eight maybe or something like that, nine at best. But uh, from the corners of that, I don't think, I don't think we can get up to a nine. But we got this Han Solo Key Raw. I love this card. And I bought this one raw, so this is another, you know, kind of kind of a risk because you're not exactly sure what PSA is going to find if you're looking at it raw. And it looks good to you. It could still have some stuff on it. But we're going to open this up and see how we did with the PSA reveal. And again, just hoping that it's going to be a little bit better. So I see the top there. We're going to turn this over. There it is. Check this out. We got... The Key Raw and Young Solo from the Han Solo movie. I really like that movie. And you know me, I like to go for things that are a little bit different because it's not, you know, the typical Harrison Ford solo. This is the Young Solo actor plus Key Raw. So instead of Solo and Leia, we got this uh, tragic kind of relationship romance with Key Raw, another character I love to, to get. So let's go ahead and just flip this over and see how we did. Yeah, redemption. We got it. Check that out, guys. We got the PSA 9. I will take it. That is amazing. Look at that. Beautiful card, too. And look at this. I think they gave us a thicker holder here. This definitely feels different. Yeah, this is a thicker holder because we got a, a thicker card stock here for this card. Man, it feels really cool. It's very different. Maybe that's why this took so much longer because I actually sent this... A few days before I sent this one out to PSA, uh, they both went express grading. This one came back first, and now we have this one. Uh, it came back just actually after that one. This is just a great looking card, guys. I'm so happy to see the PSA 9 on this. I wonder what brought it down. Maybe sometimes it's centering can bring it down from a 10 to a 9. And on a card like this, it's kind of hard for me to tell. Actually, maybe it is top bottom because you got more black uh, of this corner, corner side border. And then this is a little bit thinner down here. Maybe that means the centering's a little off. I don't know. Yeah, I have to look at other cards, and maybe that's just typical that the top side is a little bit thicker. But really beautiful card. I love this case. This is really cool how they give you this thicker case for this uh, for this autograph card. So a wonderful card. Really, really happy to have a nice grade uh, come back for this. And I want to hear in the comments below. I've seen, I'm looking at some other autograph cards on uh, eBay. And sometimes people go for the not only the PSA grading of the card, but they go for the DNA cert. So it'll say the PSA grade, and then it'll say the autograph grade. I want to know your all's opinion of doing that for these Star Wars autograph cards. In my opinion, I feel like it's too much because, I mean, the card, if the card is authenticated, and they're telling you it's an autograph card, and then the card says, you know, tops authentic autograph, and it's got this, you know, sticker label across it, to me, does, doesn't it feel like you don't really need the DNA cert at that point? I mean, it's an autograph card. It's certified as an autograph card by PSA. It's the real autograph card. And then Topps is telling you themselves. And they procured the autograph, you know. You think, you see, it's got this certified uh, label already on the card. So do you need the DNA cert? Or maybe it's just, you know that little bit of extra that just helps to max out the label and makes make it look really nice. In my opinion, I don't know that it's really worth sending these to get both the PSA and DNA. And, you know, I started thinking about that after I sent this card off. I was like, you know, should I have gotten the DNA as well? But uh, that's the authentic, the where they authenticate the autographs as well as the card. I feel like it's a bit unnecessary for these kinds of cards, but you all let me know um, about that in the in the uh, comments below. Because I know in the baseball world, I read an article they have like some facsimile cards, a few of those where it's like a copy or facsimile of an autograph card, but the autographs are not real. So I feel like maybe there's a reason for it there, but in the Star Wars world, there's, to my knowledge, nothing like that. I don't know that you really need the DNA certs for Star Wars autograph cards. I feel like this is, 
good enough. All right, let me know what you all think uh, about that. And thanks so much for watching. Look forward to more content very soon. Thank you.